Hi there, I'm Steven with Victory Programming, and the goal is to report some diameters and true position, which is a fairly common type of measurement. Even though this is a pretty simple program, we'll cover a lot of details that will be important as you progress to more complex programs. You can download the CAD model and drawing from the link in the lesson description. We have to rotate the model clockwise 90 degrees. The right mouse button will rotate the model in 3D, and if you get it all messed up and it's you can't tell where you're at, you can click this button down at the bottom. Not only is it leveling the part, but it's also setting up the Z origin. Now it'll make a box around the part so the probe will travel on those imaginary planes. Then press this button on the top of the right joystick three times. Now we can measure them as a cylinder or we can measure them as circles. If you mess up, that's okay. So the strategy button right here will say circle path. You can change the Z coordinate right here, so that would be under form and location, position, distance, and then simple distance. I'll show you that way. Let's say we want to do dimension 3, which is to the first hole, from datum C on the right side, so you can easily tell which direction it's going when you're looking at the different dimensions. And run the program. Let's do a few safety checks just to make sure everything is going to work properly. So you always want to make sure the probe is coming from the correct direction. So if there's a bump, a defect, or anything that's going to cause a spike in the data, set up your part. You might use clamps or you might set up the part on a block. You always want to set your speed slow on your first try just in case something weird happens. Driving your controller to take four points on that surface. Slow it down or pause it if you need to. It's kind of fun, isn't it? You made a program from start to finish. And of course, there's still a lot to learn, but you're laying a good foundation, especially if you keep practicing what you're learning.